tens of thousands of children being trafficked for sex in the United States, and a former area congresswoman is leading the fight to save them. She's released the findings of a new study to Coin News 6 that will tell the rest of the country what we're sharing with you tonight. A confused child one day. I was actually felt like I was loved by somebody for the first time. And I put all of my trust and all of my faith in him. A prisoner the next. Once you know that he could almost kill you, you'd rather do what he says than to get beat again. Forced into the underground child sex trafficking circuit in the United States of America. When I turned 12 years old, I started street prostitution. I had a pimp. Some victims may call it prostitution, but investigators say make no mistake, they are children, they are victims, and they are prisoners. Well, we didn't just stay in California. We were going, like, went to Washington and to Arizona. We went to Texas, we went to Dallas, Louisiana, we went to Miami. We were... Now, if you want something really young, that 200, I cost you, it just cost a little more than that. Sure, That's sure. Former U.S. Congresswoman and Vancouver resident Linda Smith says the video and interviews you're watching were taped in various cities across America over the past two years during a major investigation with the U.S. Department of Justice into child sex trafficking in the United States. There isn't a city that we've looked at now in the United States that doesn't have children recruited from them or to them for commercial sex. That includes the Portland, Vancouver area, but she says the victims are difficult to track. She doesn't stay in one city very long. She doesn't even know where she is most of the time. Smith says the sheer numbers are stunning. The findings of her study indicate there are likely tens of thousands of American children ages 11 to 14 being trafficked for sex in the U.S. right now. The Vancouver woman leading the investigation says not only is it happening in cities across the United States, but also in Portland and in Vancouver. Tonight, in part two of our special report, we show you why many children don't leave their captors even when they have the chance and why they say the police can't help them. Would you call a child sold into the sex trade and held prisoner a criminal? That's how many describe themselves. I always felt like a criminal. I never felt like a, a victim at all. These video clips from a nationwide undercover investigation were released to Coin News 6 from Shared Hope International. On the videos, survivors like Tanya, who was kidnapped at age 12, explain it's hard to feel like a victim when you're the one arrested. Victims don't do time in jail. They work on the healing process. I was a criminal because I spent time in jail. I definitely felt like nothing more than a criminal. Rarely, when she's sold on the streets or delivered to the hotel room to the man, rarely do they arrest the man buying her. Vancouver resident Linda Smith is leading the charge to stop child sex trafficking. The former U.S. Congresswoman says most of the time police have their hands tied. Some of the best guys I've seen out there really caring deeply are local police saying, but the only place I can put her is in jail. Otherwise, the pimps have her in days. Child welfare won't take her. We don't know what to do, so we lock her up. Survivors say they were too afraid to tell police the truth. They had my ID in my purse. They had my home address on it and my name and everything on it. He took it all down, showed me that they had it written on paper, and if I would tell the police, they would come and hunt me down and kill me. The pimps really do get them back. They really do torture them. They really do move them. And they know it's pretty easy to hide a girl like this kidnapped or lured away by someone they trusted moving from city to city on the sex trafficking circuit. Shared Hope International will begin releasing the results of its national study region by region tomorrow beginning with the West Coast. This is a story that Coin News 6 will continue to follow so stay with Coin News 6. Child sex trafficking. The crimes against these kids are horrifying and the sheer numbers staggering. These stunning revelations come from a national investigation headed by a Vancouver woman. Coin News 6 reporter Alexis Del Cid has been digging into this report for three days now. And Alexis, part of the problem is that these victims are often labeled as criminals. Ken, that's exactly right. The Vancouver woman leading the fight to stop child sex trafficking says this is the only group of victims in which the victims are the ones arrested. They're punished for the very crime being committed against them. 
if you want something really young, that 200 I'll cost, it just costs a little more than that. Sure, sure. Just... The surveillance videos and survivor interviews released to Coin News 6 show you why the girls don't dare run away. If I would tell the police, they would come and knock me down and kill me. They'll probably hit you with a belt, um, physically slap you, punch you. They are misidentified as prostitutes and put in jail. Former U.S. Congresswoman and Vancouver resident Linda Smith runs Shared Hope International. Smith spearheaded a nationwide child sex trafficking investigation. Her findings reveal a stunning gap in resources to help the victims. The report shows most of the time the victims are the ones arrested and charged with a crime. And even then the police can't protect them. We're not able to detain that girl in a detention facility. Clackamas County Juvenile Department Director Doug Poppin says prostitution is a Class A misdemeanor. And the only Class A misdemeanor the justice system can detain a child for is assault. So he says the child is released. Detention is really supposed to exist to protect the public safety. It is not viewed as a public safety risk to be a teenage prostitute. And the girl's too scared to tell police the truth except the label of prostitute. I was a criminal because I spent time in jail. I definitely felt like nothing more than a criminal. Smith says often the victim is released right back to her captor or another member of the ring posing as the child's guardian. Now Smith is working with the Justice Department to push for some funding to create programs to help rehabilitate sex trafficking victims and to give police and jails more tools so that, so that instead of arresting them, the victims can be put in a safe house away from the pimps. Live in the newsroom, Alexis Del Cid, Coin News 6.